I said the day that it happened, I was standing here splitting firewood, and, uh, you know, the whole thing went down. And it's been really, really tragic. This is the view from Bill Clark's home of the demolition of Sandy Hook Elementary, the site where 20 children and six adults lost their lives last December, is now being torn down. I lived in town for 54 years. I've lived on the street my whole life. Uh, we're a very strong community, and we're, we're going to overcome this. We're going to move on, and uh, they're going to put up another beautiful school, and uh, we're going to move on. The town is eager to move on. People are being kept back from the construction site. Contractors were asked to destroy every trace of the building to protect the victim's privacy and keep people from taking debris as souvenirs. But there are still reminders around town of what this town went through. For the sake of the kids that were there, the teachers that will be there for years, even after the kids that were enrolled there then are gone, the teachers are still going to be there. And I just, it was an old school to begin with. So yeah, tear it down and put a new one. Why, why tear the school down? We could have just remodeled the two rooms where all this stuff happened. A new school doesn't take the memory away, so it's a waste of money. Newtown accepted a $50 million state grant to build a new school in its place. It's expected to open by December of 2016. For now, Sandy Hook students have been attending classes in a neighboring town until they have a school to call their own. In Sandy Hook, Connecticut, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.